Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to try to do some testing and help answer a question that I've seen posted quite frequently and I've always wondered about myself and that's what's the relationship between altering the gain or as SVS calls it volume directly on a subwoofer versus changing the input gain level on an AVR. If you have both somewhere in the middle of the range, does it make any difference if you raise it on one versus raising on the other? I don't know. I've never tested it. My theory is it should be the same. If you, for example, have plus five to go on your sub and you have plus five to go on your AVR, raising one, lowering the other versus the other way around shouldn't make a difference. But I've never tested it, so we're going to test it. Got my mic set up and I'm simply going to fire up our EW. I'm going to shut off my other sub just to make it easy. Um, so the chart will be easily read. I want to see every little tiny detail and with having both on it actually gives a really nice even response, but I'm looking for any, any difference possible. So the subs here, they go from negative 60 to zero in their gains. Again, what SVL, SVS calls volume, it's, it's amplifier gain. And my receiver goes from negative 10 through zero to positive 10. Now my only rule has been keep the AVR at zero or below because I do run my volume at or near reference level. And if you're running positive sub gain in the input level and running full volume, you can run out of signal and be sending a clipped signal into the sub amplifier. So I always keep that at zero or below. Right now I'm just slightly below max on both. I have just enough bass with my two subwoofers in the room and I run negative six on my subs and between negative five and negative 1.5 on my AVR. And that just happens to give me the exact curve that I want. So I'm going to dial them both down, put them down in a range where I've got a lot to play with. And I just want to see, I'm going to raise one, lower the other, and then do it the other way and see what the charts say. A lot of people have theories. I've never seen it actually tested. I see some people say, run your AVR hot, sub low, and vice versa. So we're going to find out together who's actually right. My theory is they should be the same. Every single time daddy tries to do a video, there's a puppy that has to join in. You know, I'm trying to measure Clover. That's kind of hard to do with an oinking pig. So I'm just picking some arbitrary numbers here. I'm setting both the sub here that I'm going to be testing at negative 10, which is its lower limit. And I've got corresponding sub at negative 10 and I'm going to go opposite directions. So I'm going to bring the sub up and I'm going to bring, I'm sorry, I'm going to bring the sub level in the AVR up and I'm going to bring the sub level down. So they'll cross in the middle. And what we should see is all of the lines converging. There shouldn't be any difference. I'm not going to make any total differences, but let's find out if it actually happens that way. Okay, ready for some results. I have not viewed these yet. I've just noticed the trends as I was running the test. This is the results of 30 runs. I did three runs for each setting, and these are the averages between them. So first up, running the AVR low and the sub hot. Here is our baseline. I'm going to go right to the extreme, and then I'll go through the rest and see if we see any kind of pattern. This is running the AVR hot all the way to zero and the sub down 10. Virtually identical. Let's turn on the other lines. I'll go in series here. So as we see them up here, this is turning the AVR up and the sub down. As you can see, everything is just overlaying. One or two be one or two dB at the most difference here and there, and it comes and goes, it crosses at different points. This is just nothing. So boom, I would say that is pretty convincingly myth busted that going one way or the other makes any difference whatsoever. Again, we'll show the extremes here overlaid 
AVR all the way down, sub all the way up, and vice versa on screen. You can see that they touch at some points. The AVR up all the way is giving two to three dB in these sections, but not the upper base. The crossover is at 80 all the way up here. And it's the same until it really gets to around 40. And then just a little bit at most points below that. But for all intents and purposes, you're not going to hear this anyway. <laughs> but certainly there is nothing electronically going on here between running one way or the other. So there you go. When you see people saying, oh, you got to do this or you got to do that, just point them to this video. Does not matter. See ya.